What's going on there folks? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the Fio E7 portable amplifier as well as USB DAC digital to analog converter. Now this is a very interesting product that I picked up on Amazon for $99.95, but I think they've since dropped it a whopping $7 to $93.95. Now Theo is a Chinese, I think they're Hong Kong based company uh, that manufactures really pretty high-end audio amplifiers. Now, the cheap one that everyone uh, really knows well is this uh, strikingly similar iPod Shuffle uh, shaped amplifier uh, that retails for, I think, 25 bucks. Um, I picked this up from recommendations of people on Head5 for a good headphone amplifier that was super cheap, and uh, I was very unsatisfied with the results. This just didn't appease me in the slightest, and I was rather unsatisfied with it. Now, I also didn't want one that was crappy and poorly built, and so I wanted one that was going to last me, you know, several years, and the people on Head5 said, you know, you should really check out the E7. I read some reviews online, watched some videos, and the Fio E7 looked like the winner. Now, this is a very interesting device because it really serves two purposes. It does amplify your headphones, and if you don't really get or understand what that means, a lot of headphones on the market, especially over-ear headphones, are really inefficient. The Denon's, Bayer Dynamic, uh, especially orthodynamic headphones like the Odysseys or the uh, Hi-Fi Man stuff, um, those may not even uh, get enough power from the E7 to fully utilize their sound. This is really for uh, smaller dynamic headphones. But I mean, the Denon D5000s, even, you know, the pair of headphones I reviewed last week, the Audio-Technica ATH M50s, which are just $150 headphones, can benefit greatly from the E7. Believe it or not, the line out on your iPhone, your iPod, your Zune, your Android phone, your computer is not that great. Sorry, there's just not enough power going through it to really give you that full immersive soundstage and ambiance that you should expect from your headphones. Now, the Fio E7 is designed to clear your woes, and it really serves two purposes. Now, the first one is pretty simple. You plug your source in down here. So uh, you use uh, either this cable, which I've rapidly fallen in love with. Uh, you'll plug it in here. And then you plug this into the bottom of your iPhone or iPod, and uh, it will actually send the sound through this little guy and out to two different headphones. So it's not just a splitter. One person asked me, they're like, that's a really big splitter. It's not a splitter. It's an amplifier. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is also show you another way you can do this. You can plug this line in, and you could use, say, your MacBook or your computer or your Zune or any device that doesn't have this 30-pin uh, dock connection. This was like a $13 cable, and if you plan on picking the E7 up, you really should pick this up because it just maximizes the quality of the iPhone and iPod's audio tenfold. Uh, the digital line out on the iPhone is significantly better than the headphone jack line out. Okay, so we go into the bottom of the Fio E7. We'll have to turn on the Fio E7 right here. Uh, that OLED display is uh, really nice. It actually is kind of glitchy and kind of a uh, liney on the camera, but that's just the camera. Uh, it actually won't appear that way uh, when you're using it on your own. And uh, you have a very basic menu set here. Darn, that's near unusable, I apologize. Uh, you can adjust the EQ, which is really not an EQ adjustment, it just is like a bass booster. Uh, if we press this real quick, um, it'll say bass boost. You can say one, two, or three. I leave it on zero just because I like a relatively flat frequency response. Uh, you can choose to charge it over USB while you use it. Uh, they allow you to disable that so you don't get external noise. Uh, and then the sleep time. Uh, basically, the menu is very uh, basic, but this is the device itself. Okay, you turn it on and you can control the volume that goes out to your headphones. Now, this not only provides a lot more power so that you can get a louder sound into your headphones, but it really kind of equalizes the audio. Now, I'm not going to say it provides bass booster or the jazz setting that's on your iPhone. It really just flattens the frequency response. Most people will tell you if you have a good pair of headphones, you don't need to adjust the EQ to make them sound good. And uh, the same holds true with the Fio E7. Uh, you don't even really need that good a pair of headphones. Uh, you just put your audio in. It analyzes it and digitizes it, and uh, it will uh, actually undigitizes it. It takes the analog signal and uh, makes it into, or it takes, <laughs> I'm sorry, it'll take an analog or digital signal and mix it to analog if need be, and you do get a very impressive sound increase. I use this with my iPhone, my iPod, uh, my Zune, and I really do get a much better listening experience on even cheap headphones. I mean, I'm not saying your Skullcandy 
mesh, whatever the freak those are called, are going to sound better. But if you have a pair of $80 Sony MDR, you know, XB 500s, or you have the, uh, what's the studio monitoring version? I don't remember. But um, if you do have a pair of headphones that you feel like you could be getting more out of, chances are you can. And simply the device you're playing out with can't output enough quality or enough power or enough soundstage or enough anything to really get the maximized experience uh, on your headset. Now, also, this acts as a USB DAC, which is why this is cool. You can actually dock this into the other $99 desktop amplifier, the FIO E9, and uh, that will change that analog converter into a digital to analog converter as well. Um, now, this is really great because it allows you to actually go direct line out from your computer. Now, not line out in the terms of out of your headphone jack, because um, there are computers granted with good sound cards. Um, even the Macs are pretty well praised for having decent sound cards. Um, but devices like the MacBook Air or Netbooks, or if you don't have a PC with a good sound card, you can use this as an external sound card. You simply plug USB in right here. It's a mini USB cable, and uh, mini USB will go out to your computer. No drivers are required, Mac, PC, or Linux. It'll say, hey, an external, uh, an external sound card has been detected. Would you like to use this? And you say, yes, I would. And once you do that, all of the audio that normally would be going out of your internal speakers or your headphone jack will go through the FIO E7. So you can actually go directly out to a pair of headphones, and you'll notice that the sound quality of flak tracks on your computer, uh, I mean, or anything really sounds significantly better. It's not even so much that it just improves the sound stage or the listening quality, but it just seems more powerful. You'll notice that the bass is tighter, it's more punchy, uh, you'll notice that the trebles are more refined. It really is just an excellent product. Now again, it's not for everyone. If you want to use it as just a day-to-day -day commuter and you don't have a nice pair of headphones, there's really no reason to have this. But if you've invested $100, $200 in a pair of headphones that you feel that you could be getting a little bit more out of, chances are you can. And with the FIO E7, you can do so. It has excellent construction quality. This is all aluminum. And then the front is this very fingerprint attached uh, plastic. But it does a great job at what it does. The rechargeable battery lasts about 24 hours of playback. I've really loved my FIO E7 and don't leave a day uh, without having that in my pocket or my backpack or anything of that sort because it is something that I certainly have become to rely on. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, check out the FIO E7 if you'd like to improve your listening experience from your headphones. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.